Hello. We're going to talk about nitric oxide and immune health. So what is really going on? There are underlying health conditions in almost every single case of COVID. Nitric oxide dysregulation is at the core of these conditions. Two thirds to three quarters of the COVID deaths had hypertension or cardiovascular disease. A third of the COVID deaths had diabetes. These conditions are associated with nitric oxide deficiency in which the arginine, NOS, nitric oxide synthase pathway are dysfunctional or uncoupled. There have been studies going back to 2004 using nitric oxide to address SARS-CoV infections. Oxidative stress, generating a lot of free radicals. Oxidative stress increases exponentially in chronic illness. Supporting the nitric oxide production not only decreases the production of superoxide, it scavenges the free radicals to decrease oxidative stress. Hypoxia, not enough oxygen getting to the cells and tissues. The SARS-CoV-2 attacks hemoglobin and oxidizes the iron, then releases that iron to become cell-free heme. Cell-free heme is unable to carry oxygen and then the hypoxia pathways are stimulated and this activates more virus as well as stimulating pro-inflammatory cytokines increasing to a cytokine storm. Nitric oxide scavenges cell-free heme but this makes nitric oxide unbioavailable. The loss of nitric oxide leads to hypertension, coagulation, and systemic inflammation. 90% of patients with pneumonia have increased coagulation due to nitric oxide depletion. The loss of endogenous nitric oxide decreases our ability to suppress viral replication. This is the main reason for the failure of the immune system. The nitric oxide pathways. The arginine goes through the NOS, nitric oxide synthase enzyme, and is oxidized into nitric oxide. The nitrate to nitrite to nitric oxide pathway is diet or supplement based, but this pathway can generate nitric oxide without having to go through the NOS pathway. So NOS is our enzyme that takes the arginine into nitric oxide. The INOS, inducible nitric oxide synthase, is associated with our immune response. Nitric oxide is toxic to bacteria, virus, and other pathogens. They've shown that nitric oxide donors, such as penicillamine, but also nitrate and nitrites can be considered a nitric oxide donor. These have been shown to inhibit viral replication. When NOS is uncoupled or dysfunctional, it produces superoxide instead of nitric oxide, increasing oxidative stress. So BH4 is the rate limiting enzyme in nitric oxide production. And ascorbic acid is the only molecule 
that can regenerate BH4. Glutathione is ineffective in doing this. So macrophages, the little Pac-Man of the immune system, need lots of vitamin C and nitric oxide in order to do their job in response to the pathogens. The macrophages also produce the cytokine storm. Nitric oxide has been shown to scavenge some of these inflammatory cytokines, as well as melatonin can scavenge some of these cytokines also. So this shows your ascorbic acid regenerating your BH4. Without adequate ascorbic acid, this BH4 oxidizes to BH2. BH2 will uncouple the NOS, making it dysfunctional. So what are the factors affecting nitric oxide formation? Aging, by the time we're 40, our NOS pathway is only functioning around 50%. By the time we're 60, our NOS pathway is only functioning around 15%. So increasing the nitrate to nitrite to nitric oxide pathway will help optimize nitric oxide. The diet, the standard American diet, is full of chemicals, increasing the oxidative stress, and it's devoid of the nitrate-rich veggies, which can increase the production of nitric oxide. Exercise will increase the production of nitric oxide. As couch potatoes, we're not forming very much nitric oxide. Medications, antibiotics, anything that, that affects the intestinal or the oral microbiome will affect our production of nitric oxide. NSAIDs, ibuprofen, decreases nitric oxide. Antidepressants, birth control pills, PPIs, proton pump inhibitors, affect the production of nitric oxide through both pathways. We need that stomach acid to start making our, turning our nitride into nitric oxide. Pollution, heavy metals, plastics, petrochemicals, all of these increase oxidative stress, which increases NOS uncoupling, decreasing the production of nitric oxide. Genetics, we've got our NOS, NOS SNPs, our SOD SNPs, superoxide dismutase. Anything that increases oxidative stress will affect our ability to make nitric oxide. So anything that affects our ability to make BH4, like QDPR, DHFR, even the MTHFR genetic SNPs will decrease our ability to make nitric oxide. Stress, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, doesn't matter. All of these increase the production of the stress hormone cortisol. Cortisol is the only hormone that will decrease our production of nitric oxide. Cortisol decreases the INOS function, which decreases the immune response and the capability. Cortisol decreases the ENOS, the endothelial NOS, which governs the circulation and the microcirculation. Without optimal circulation and microcirculation, the macrophages, which need a lot of vitamin C and nitric oxide, can't get in there to do their job of defense 
and debris can't be carried away. So turn off the news, go for a walk, do some quiet meditation and breathing exercise, anything to dampen that stress response. So what do we need to do to have a healthy immune response? Clean up our diet, drink good clean water, not tap, limit sugar intake, Sugar impairs our immune response and impacts the function of the macrophages. Eat real food. Increase your veggie intake for their fiber, the phytonutrients, the antioxidants, and the dietary nitrate concentration. Get some sunshine. Increase your vitamin D and your nitric oxide production. Minimize stress and ensure optimal rest to keep that cortisol down. Decrease your toxin exposure. And here I'm going to have to add all of these disinfectants that we're using, disrupt, disrupting our microbiome, the chemical hand sanitizers. All of these increase the oxidative stress. Engage in a regular exercise program, even if it's just walking. Increase your vitamin C. Vitamin C increases the natural killer cells, which are especially responsive to virus. Vitamin C supports optimal function of your T and B cells. It's important in antibody production. Regenerate your BH4 which is the rate limiting enzyme to make nitric oxide. And support your nitrate to nitrite nitric oxide pathway. Not only does this increase the production of nitric oxide directly, it helps recouple NOS to decrease the production of superoxide and increase NO. Thank you.